everyone, and let's... Ugh, wow, I can't talk and play at the same time, apparently. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Shield. Last time we left off, we had gone through the Isle of Armor as main quest so that our Pokemon can roam around with us, but I thought it'd be nice to take a break from that and get back to the main story of the game. Starting off by making curry for my Pokemon. <laughs> so I did a little bit of TR hunting and level grinding off screen. Not much, but uh, <laughs> I had to stop an evolution for a Pokemon because I didn't realize its happiness had gotten so high. So there's that. I need to not stop stirring. And we're pretty much just heading off into Hammerlock after this and the other half of the wild area, which this is pretty much where you would spend most of your time before the Isle of Armor and Crown Tundra TLC came out. So what curry did I end up making? Try apple curry. <laughs> I love that! First we go from this huge mountain of food for Grubbin, and now Chargebug only eats up a little spoon! <laughs> Oh, looks like I got Copperaja class again. One of these days I'll get the Charizard class. I just need more berries. And Mon fell asleep. Did spend some time with my Pokemon, so their affection, I think, is pretty much maxed out with everyone on the team. So all that's really left is to continue on and get our last Pokemon, which sadly, when I looked at the weather conditions on the map, that Pokemon will not show up today. All right. Ooh, level up for Avery and Bond. Very nice. Sweet. Okay. And of course I'm on the bike because this area is long. Say hello to the next locations. Starting with Motostoke, Riverbank, and greeted by Snorlax. First time I played it was greeted by a Snorlax. There's definitely a lot of Pokemon to catch out here, so definitely have fun and explore. I don't really need anything in here right now, so I'm kind of just going to beeline over to Hammerlock, which is our next location, Ridgefield. A uh, nice thing about the Leon Ridgefield is there is a daycare right at the end over here, and that reminds me, there should be a uh, Pokemon ch staff member, Gym Challenge staff member, I believe is what they're called. For Rose's company. Should be over here, that'll give us TRs, and I think he has the one I need. This is actually my second attempt at recording, so you'll have to humor me here. No, it's not. Okay. So you're not the one, so it must be the one over by Hammerlock. Firstly, though, I'm actually going to show the location of where my final teammate's going to be. Problem is he only shows up when it's snowing. So, we won't be seeing him today because I checked the map and it's raining over here. So, there's actually a lot of places to look at. This is Dusty Bowl here where a lot of your ground type are going to show up. That's a Tyro! That! That! <laughs> and Giant's Cap. This is the place I'm talking about. That's a uh, Dreadnought and a Wobbuff. Oh, that's not a Wobbuffet, that's a Quagsire. Okay, I didn't realize you could run into Quagsires during a thunderstorm. But yeah, Giant's Cap is where my last team member is going to be once the weather changes to, excuse me, snow. It's the only time it shows up other than one location where its evolution shows up. Somewhere else. In, uh, Lake Mylock. There's the TR I want, Flash Cannon. I will take that and spend all of my watts to get it. Uh, I think I'm good for TRs for a while. So let's just uh, kind of head up to Hammerlock, shall we? Like I said, feel free to explore, but you'll get your full exploration once we get the final upgrade for the bike. Because without Surf, we need a way to travel on the water, and the bike is the method they used. So, what do you have? I just, I'm curious at this point. Oh, you have Flash Cannon as well. Well, I don't need it. I've got it. And then you, I know, sells stuff for curry. So if you want ingredients, talk to him. But we're talking to him. Ah, uh, Gym Challenger. Allow me to check your gym badges. 
grass badge, the water badge, and the fire badge. It's confirmed that you've defeated three gym leaders, including the leader, Motostoke. I wish you the best of luck in your future battles. Oh, it's you. I doubt Hop will be coming. It's only natural. After such a humiliating defeat, there's no way he could look the champion in the eye. I'm sure he'll withdraw from the challenge. Here, just look at the gym badges I've already won. Thank you, Challenger Bede. I can confirm you have the required badges. Anyway, I have a meeting with the chairman, so I must excuse myself. He's definitely got a bit of a chip on his shoulder. More like a stone. But it does sound like Hop ended up losing to Bede. I can see that bringing down his spirits when he's so enthusiastic. Anyways, say hello to Hammerlock. This place is absolutely gorgeous. They definitely outdid themselves with designing this city. Anyways... Mr. Chairman, I've been collecting both wishing stars and gym badges as fast as I can. Good work, Bede. I'm glad you haven't forgotten that is that it was the chairman who endorsed you. If I gather enough wishing stars, that'll help solve the problem that's been bothering you, right, Mr. Chairman? Oh, it's not just about me. It's for the future of the whole Galar region. And we'll need more than just wishing stars. We need a powerful Pokemon trainer, too. Someone like the champion. With all due respect, sir, I was able to show Hop, one of the champion Dorse trainers, just how outclassed he was. I'm sure I'll be able to defeat the champion. No, I will defeat the champion. That's the spirit. It takes healthy competition to really keep the gym challenge energized. Challenger Bede, there's something I wish to discuss with you. Do you have a moment? And off they go. That's creepy. I hope you were listening, Jess. As you know, wishing stars are those mysterious stones that are even attached to your Dynamax bands. There's more to wishing stars than just making your Pokemon into giants, though. They hold far more energy than that. If you're curious, you should head to the stadium. In fact, we should head inside right away. I'll even give you a little lesson on how the Galar region gets its energy. I cannot take him seriously in those clothes because it looks like he's walking around in boxers. Anyways, let's head on in. <laughs> Hammerlock Stadium doubles as an energy plant. Now, have a look at my tablet. It's got all the information you need on it. See, an easy to understand description of the energy plant. First, energy is absorbed from Hammerlock Stadium's tower. Then it's changed into electricity in the underground power plant and delivered to people throughout the region. Our lives in society require various types of energy sources such as electricity, natural gas, and water. My associate groups aim to improve everyone's lives by harnessing the power stored in wishing stars. Oh, it's time for me to get to work. I should get a move on before Alana decides to give me another earful. Jess, I suggest you head over to the next vault. Or the vault next. I need to read. Just head towards Route 6 from the stadium, and you should find the vault without any issues. Ugh, that's a lot of information to dump on anybody and about an energy source of what your company does. Why is this important to us? We're just a kid. Right now, there's not much we can do. Other than take our gym challenge. That's all we're here to do. But let's not hesitate and head over to Route 6. Oh! Hi, Leon! Jess, seems you're doing well collecting gym badges. But Hob, did something happen with him? He was acting really odd when I ran into him. He took one look at me and immediately was like, I'm so sorry, Lee. 
It might be the first time I've heard him apologize for anything, and I've no idea what it's for. Maybe he's feeling down because he had some hard loss in battle. I think so. At least you got to keep an eye on him. Oh, I read that wrong once again. At least I've got you to keep an eye on him. You will look out for Hop, won't you? As his rival. Of course. Blast, look at the time. I nearly forgot my meeting with the chairman. That Atlanta really lets me hear it when I'm late. Hopefully I could remember which way to go. Anyway, I'd say that you should go and say hello to Raihan while you're here, Jess. He's the greatest rival I've got in the final hurdle you'll have to face the gym challenge. He should be around the vault. If you hurry, he's down that way on the way to Route 6. And he's gone. Probably the completely wrong way. Well, before that, I see a shop, so let's at least update my appearance and show off what's new. Sadly, the shirt I want isn't around till later on, but let's switch it up and go with this little sweatshirt for now. And see what else is here. The sport theme jackets. The sport theme pants. Some skirts. I'm still wearing the uh, socks. Okay. <laughs> socks don't really matter because you can't see them with my outfit, but they're there. The ribbon socks. Those are kind of, I think, those plaid looking socks. The shoes. Uh, these are all the style card shoes. Otherwise, there's nothing here. But they're, uh, Marnie shoes. Backpacks. Sport themed. Wow, that's bland. Yeah, caps, which I can't wear. The glasses. And no gloves. So yeah, this will do for me now. Do for now for me. English, can't do it. Brain likes to say one thing, mouth says the other. It's gonna be a while before I get my proper outfit. Anyways, before we head over to the vault, which is over here, I'm gonna kind of sneak by Raihan, there he is, and go down here, because this guy teaches us some good moves. Yes, please, and I would like to bond to learn this move. I need to change the order of my Pokemon. Water Pledge, a very good water type move, so I'm gonna replace Pound with it. There we go. And let's switch up my Pokemon here, so... There, we got level order. Why do I get the feeling my team's gonna end up half and half? Half female, half male. <laughs> God, I remember when I was doing kind of a little separate file while my... That's team yell. Anyways, doing a... Uh, my main file here with a secondary file on my Switch Lite, and my entire team ended up female. It was ridiculous. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk to Raihan. Oh, if it isn't the trainer endorsed by the champion. Let's see, what was your name again? Alright, Jess. And if Leon himself recognized your potential, then I guess you'll grow into quite the trainer. All the same, though, anyone wanting to challenge the mighty Raihan has to prove they're up to it by earning seven gym badges first. I'm here to visit the vault. Ah, so you're here to see our treasures, are you? Gaining a better understanding of Pokémon by studying history certainly isn't a bad idea. I like your spirit, kid. Follow me, why don't ya? I'll even spare you one of my league cards. And we got Raihan's card. Now on you go. If it's the vault you want, it's up those stairs there. Sweet. Thank you. So we can explore if we want to, but I'm gonna go straight to the vault. As I whack my face on the wall. God, this place is pretty. I see that, TM. Charm! Interesting place for that. Alright. In we go. Oh! Sonya's here. Whoa. Those tapestries, dude.
Oh, there, you're here. Brilliant, aren't they? It's great that there are still treasured tapestries that can tell us of Galar's history. The two youth watching a wishing star. A disaster occurs, the two bewildered youths. The youth looking on at the sword and shield that stopped the disaster. The youth being crowned. These tapestries tell the story of the creation of the kingdom in Galar. Say, young Jin challenger, what sticks out to you the most about them? There's two heroes. Bang on! The statue at the hotel in Motosok only had one hero, no matter how you slice it. But here, we clearly have two youths. Was there really only one hero, or were there two? And what even caused the darkest day? Thanks for letting me bounce some ideas off you. I think I've got some theories now. I'm going to research the tapestries a tad more, but you have your gym challenge, right? I'm cheering for you, so take a couple of these. I hope you see more of your wins. And more revives. Well, before I forget, we do have a league card to read. Oh, wow. Nice, Raihan. Raihan is commonly regarded as the most skilled gym leader in the Galar region. He has striven for victory for every environment, and as a result, he has adopted a battle style where he utilizes weather effects to their fullest. It is rumored that he could easily become another region's champion should he choose to move, but it seems that to Raihan, defeating Leon is much more important. He uploaded selfie his uploaded selfies are quite popular. Occasionally he'll post a photo that only shows a sandstorm. <laughs> And did I ever read Avery's card? A oh yeah, I did. Okay. So yeah, I think we're good there. Alright, well, we can finally continue on with our challenge instead of all this extra fluff. Though it is interesting learning about the darkest day. Down we go. The tapestries in the vault depict the heroes of the Galar region's past. I suppose if we've got any modern hero, it'd have to be our champion, Leon. Listen up, Jess. Your goal is to defeat that superstar, Leon. So conquer route go conquer Route 6 and train yourself up along the way to Stow Inside. Alright, that's where we're heading next, then. Have I really only been recording for 20 minutes? Holy... Roughly that. It'd probably be 15 for you guys. Oh, before I forget, the reason I caught that applin. Talk to this guy here. Hey, do you- have you heard the rumor? I haven't. What? You haven't heard? There's a rumor that if you give the one you like an applin, you'll be together forever. Actually, the truth is, there's someone I like. She's gonna move overseas pretty soon. I've been searching for an applin so I can get my feelings across the right way. But I can't find one. If you've got an applin, would you please give it to me? Sure. Hand it over the applin. Wow, I did it! I finally got an applin! Thank you. Thank you so much! Since you went through the trouble of giving me an applin, I've got to tell her how I feel. Sorry I'm late. What was it you needed to talk about so suddenly? I, uh... How is packing going? Pretty much everything's been packed. Since I'm moving away tomorrow... Yeah... Hey, check out this Pokémon! Oh, an Applin! Amazing! Did you catch it? Well... No, someone gave it to me. I'm sorry, I really wanted to give you an Applin that I caught on my own, but... Well... Uh, just forget it. I can't give you this Applin. You're right. I can't take it. Yeah. Even if we're separated and far away from each other. I'll still be waiting for an applin you caught yourself. Wait, do you mean... Um, I'll, uh, I'll see you later. S 
say, what do you think that was about just now? Do you think it meant that... Congratulations! Thank you? Wait, does that mean what I think it means? Really? Really? I can't believe it! Woohoo! Uh, sorry. I just never thought that we both felt the same way. Right, well, I'd better give this Pokemon back to you. And eh, we get our Applin back. Here, take this too. Think of it as a reward for helping me take that first step. And we get a sweet apple. This apple is used to actually evolve that Applin. In Shield, we get Appleton, but in Sword, you get Falapple. I'm going to catch an Applin all by myself. And then someday, I'm going to give her that Applin. Yeah, I better get searching for an Applin. Thanks again, mate. See ya! So yeah, if you want a nice hefty dragon grass type, Appleton's actually a really nice choice. Come to think of it, I really want to get that Appleton plushie. But, we're gonna head to Stoneside first. Off to Route 6. Do 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 do. Crossing the bridge. Uh. What a cute silicobra. Just look at those adorable eyes. It's our duty as Team Yell to make sure Silicobra gets a nice, peaceful sleep. Hello there. If I promise not to wake the Pokémon, will you let me through? Of course, it'd be our pleasure. Oh, hi, Hop! Hey, Jess! You're heading to Stowinside, right? Oi, Team Yell, don't suppose you'll let us through. Nah, you kids are way too loud. Can't be getting... Can't be letting you go through. And we particularly not fun of kids wearing the challenge band. With all your stomping around, Silicobra is sure to wake up. He looks pretty sound asleep to me. Right. What do you say, Jess? If we don't get past them, we won't be able to continue our gym challenge at Stoneside. Ah, uh, let's battle them. You... Yeah, that's the spirit. You two are way too noisy. You don't want to wake up Silicobra now, do you? I swear, kids these days. Well, we've got no choice. We have to send you packing. It's all for the sake of Silicobra. Sure it is. So we get to battle the Team Yellgrunt. Stunky, huh? And Poochie's out front, so this'll be interesting. Well, we have harsh sunlight, though. Let's go with Fire Fang. Not bad at all. And a flinch! Very nice. We can finish it off with a flame wheel. Aw, critical hit to be praised. Not bad for an aftermath effect. Alright, level 31 for Dawn and 32 for Foxbug! <laughs> and those lov lovely leftovers take an effect. Leon. You know what? I am gonna switch out just because Dark type are weak to Bug type. And I love my box bug so much. All right, box bug, time to eat. <laughs> Using home claws, huh? Ooh, I actually survived. I'm properly leveled then. Another bug bite. Another home clause. You pretty much did nothing this whole turn. And down goes Leon. 
And a level up for Poochie! Nice. That's it for Team Yelgrunt. Blimey. Even your battles are too noisy. Ah! <laughs> I did mention someone wanted to evolve! Don's evolving! And now we have Gardevoir. Wait, really? To protect its trainer, it will expend all its psychic power to create a small black hole. Gardevoir, please, don't do that. <laughs> oh wow, five foot three, just an inch smaller than me. Ooh, Dazzling Gleam, yes. Um, what did I do with my paper? Okay. Um... Like that, keeping that. Um, let's get it rid of Draining Kiss. There we go. I think I'll leave this to you, Jess. Keep up the pace. Hop, you lost again? Oh, Hop. Alright, Poochie, let's uh do this. Only one Pokemon, huh? We'll use Fire Fang again. Ooh, faster than Ah, good job, Poochie! <sighs> and there we go, those leftovers. Now, because I do have a Firestone on me, I could evolve Poochie at any time, but the problem with evolving Growlithe is that it lures uh, moves a lot later and sometimes loses moves altogether, so it's better to level that up while it's still a Growlithe. And there goes the Lipard. And a level 32 for Avery. There we are. <sighs> Why do you have to be such a bother? Silicobra might wake up after all that ruckus. Then there's no point in us sticking around. Let's get out of here. We'll make these bothersome kids holler some other day. And Silicobra slept through all of that. Jess, you and Growlithe were brilliant together. See, Bede really wiped the floor with me in that last time we battled. And don't get me wrong, I can take a loss. Battling means you've got to lose sometimes. But he said that I was dragging Lee's good name through the mud, being so rubbish like I was. And I can't just get those words out of my head. If I'm weak, then people will think Lee's weak too. But I don't want that. I can't let Lee get dragged down. He's the unbeatable champion. I've got... Uh, I'm gonna have to take some time figuring this out. See you around, Jess. Oh, hop, don't let what... Uh, don't let what Bede said bother you. He's just a big a sorts of bully. Hi, Silicobra. Hi, Silicobra. After all that, it finally woke up and left. You're one of the gym challengers endorsed by Leon, aren't you? Ah! My name's Opal. If you want to know more, have a look at my League card. I'll keep an eye on you, child. I want to see what you can do when you go all out. Opal is one of my favorite characters in this game. There's a lot of favorite characters in this game, I'll just say that right now. <laughs> Opal's definitely one of them. Oh. Uh, before I do that, I'm actually gonna stop and take a break here. My throat definitely needs it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Shield. This is Autumn Child saying, I'll see you all next time.